Hi, I'm Tracy Gagnon, and we're here on the next stop of the Harvey Glatt Musical Walking Tour. Today, we're on Parliament Hill, where every morning, people drop by to hear the beautiful music of the Carillon Bells. But we're here to see the magic happening on the inside. Follow me. Well, I started piano before I turned six, so music has always been a very important part of my life. I played the carillon for 18 years at the cathedral of the town where I was working as a family doctor. Um, I was on a plane on 9-11 going to a medical meeting in Boston. And fortunately, that plane was not one of those planes. It turned around. I ended up at home, not stranded somewhere across North America. But watching the horrific events of that day, I said, I need to follow my other passion before it's too late. And a few years later, I was able to go back to university and um, get a music degree. And just as I was finishing it, this job was announced. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm so still amazed that I, I am here doing this. It's great. Well, it's such a magnificent instrument to think the best part of my day is when I'm playing. Uh, I get into it, and I'm really not thinking at that time too much of the people on the ground. I'm just totally immersed in the music, and I think any musician would be awfully jealous of that. But um, no, you can't see me up there. It's just to hear me. I never have to memorize my music. I can make faces. <laughs> uh, so, it's, it, to some extent, the anonymity helps me relax. It's much more mental. It takes a great deal of concentration. That's what's most exhausting for me, is that everything I do is very public and is symbolic of Parliament and Canada and so forth. So I'm really focusing on that to do it justice. The physical part appears more physical than it is. I make the instrument work for me not the other way around. The um, carillon may look like an organ because it has a pedal board and the manual keyboard, uh, and it has a bench even longer than an organist's bench, but it's a touch instrument, much more like the piano. And so I play with touch, both with my hands and with my feet, so I have to wear dance shoes to play and feel the pedals. Uh, appropriately. The bench is adjustable because I was the first woman Dominion Caroliner and all my predecessors were taller men and also because I have guest artists and students so many people are uh, now playing the Peace Tower Carillon so that the bench goes up and down to adjust to whoever's on it. The Carillon draws its repertoire from many sources. There's music directly composed for it which I think sounds the best but isn't generally well known and we also do arrangements and transcriptions from everything from classical to jazz to hip hop. I've been known to play Canaan's Wave and Flag on the Peace Tower and it's a great hit. The, this tower was dubbed the voice of the nation by Prime Minister Mackenzie King when it was uh, dedicated in 1927. And so I try to carry on a conversation between the tower and the people on the ground and keep it relevant. It is a human expression coming from the tower and it can't be replicated by a machine.